Welcome to our video on adverse selection in banking. Let's start by understanding what adverse selection is and why it's crucial in the banking sector. Adverse selection occurs when there's an asymmetry of information between buyers and sellers. In banking, this happens when borrowers have more information about their own risk levels than lenders do. This imbalance can lead to banks inadvertently attracting riskier borrowers. For example, if a bank cannot perfectly distinguish between high-risk and low-risk borrowers, it might set interest rates that appeal more to riskier individuals or businesses. This can significantly impact the bank's overall financial health. Understanding adverse selection is essential for banking professionals because it directly affects credit risk management and the bank's profitability. As we delve deeper into this concept, we'll explore the underlying theories, real-world implications, and strategies banks can employ to mitigate these risks. Stay with us as we unravel the complexities of adverse selection and its vital role in the banking industry. Adverse selection is a crucial concept in economic theory, especially in banking. At its core, adverse selection arises from information asymmetry, where one party possesses more or better information than the other creating a significant imbalance in decision-making. When a bank cannot distinguish between high-risk and low-risk borrowers, it faces a dilemma. High-risk individuals may seek loans, knowing their financial state isn't fully visible to the bank. Conversely, low-risk borrowers might avoid applying, worried about being unfairly lumped with riskier applicants and subjected to higher interest rates. This invisible information gap can have far-reaching consequences directly impacting the financial stability and risk assessment strategies of banks. Let's explore why adverse selection is more than just an economic concept. It's a hidden risk in the world of finance. Moving forward, you'll see how this theory translates into everyday banking scenarios, shaping the strategies that banks must adopt to stay ahead of the curve. In the intricate world of banking, adverse selection often leads to unintended consequences. It occurs when banks, in their attempt to attract borrowers, inadvertently cater to those who pose higher risks due to information asymmetry. For example, if a bank offers loans with lenient terms, it may attract a higher proportion of risky borrowers more likely to default because they lack other financing options. This scenario exemplifies how adverse selection can disrupt the balance and cause greater financial strain on banks. As we delve deeper, we will explore the broader impact of adverse selection on credit risk and potential losses that banks face. Understanding these dynamics highlights the importance of mitigation strategies in maintaining financial stability. Stay with us as we unravel how adverse selection shapes the banking landscape and the measures banks can take to protect themselves. As we delve into the effects of adverse selection, it's crucial to understand its impact on credit risk. When banks face adverse selection, they are more likely to attract higher risk borrowers, elevating overall credit risk and making loans more susceptible to defaults. Over time, these defaults can accumulate, leading to potential financial losses for the bank. It's a domino effect. One risky borrower can set off a chain reaction, destabilizing the bank's financial health. By understanding how adverse selection increases credit risk, we uncover hidden vulnerabilities that can jeopardize a bank's stability. But this is just one piece of the puzzle. Next, we'll explore real-world examples where adverse selection has significantly impacted banks. Stay with us to see how theory unfolds in the real world, shedding light on the tangible consequences of adverse selection. Let's look at a real-world example where adverse selection had a significant impact on a bank. In the early 2000s, BankX faced enormous financial strain due to a high number of default loans. The root cause was adverse selection. Many risky borrowers, aware of their precarious financial situations, sought loans from BankX. Without sufficient screening mechanisms, BankX approved numerous high-risk loans, setting the stage for eventual failure. Once the borrowers began defaulting on their loans, the bank suffered massive losses. This case underscores the importance of understanding and mitigating adverse selection. By not adequately screening and monitoring their borrowers, Bank X experienced severe credit risk and a significantly negative financial impact. 
Moving forward, you'll see how scenarios like these can be mitigated with more effective strategies and advanced techniques. Stay tuned to learn about the measures banks can take to prevent adverse selection and safeguard their financial health. To safeguard against adverse selection, banks employ various mitigation strategies. One essential approach is enhanced screening and monitoring of borrowers. By thoroughly evaluating a borrower's financial health and credit history, banks can make more informed lending decisions, reducing the risk of taking on high-risk customers. Additionally, risk-based pricing is a strategic tool used to match interest rates with the borrower's risk profile. By adjusting the cost of borrowing based on perceived risk, banks can protect themselves from potential defaults and ensure the pricing accurately reflects the risk involved. These strategies are integral not just for individual lending decisions, but for maintaining the overall stability and profitability of a banking institution. Moving forward, you'll see how advanced techniques like credit scoring models and data analytics can further enhance these mitigation efforts. In the battle against adverse selection, banks have evolved from basic strategies to sophisticated techniques. Central to these advancements are credit scoring models and data analytics. Credit scoring models assess the risk profile of potential borrowers, offering a numerical value to guide lending decisions. These models rely on vast amounts of data to accurately predict the likelihood of default, thus empowering banks to make more informed and strategic decisions. Data analytics go a step further, analyzing enormous data sets to identify trends and patterns imperceptible to the naked eye. By harnessing the power of analytics, banks can refine their credit scoring models and detect early warning signals of adverse selection, mitigating risks even before they arise. Together, these advanced techniques provide a robust defense against the pitfalls of adverse selection, paving the way for more secure, reliable banking practices. Moving forward, the integration of these tools will become even more critical. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the intricacies of adverse selection in banking. Next, we'll delve into future trends driving the evolution of risk management in the banking sector. Stay tuned for a glimpse into what's next in the fight against financial uncertainties. As we draw our discussion on adverse selection in banking to a close, it's time to look ahead. Technological advancements are rapidly transforming the landscape of risk management. With cutting edge tools and innovations, banks now have new ways to address adverse selection and mitigate associated risks. From AI-driven credit scoring models to sophisticated data analytics, the future promises enhanced accuracy in assessing borrower risk. These technological strides offer banks the ability to predict and prevent issues before they arise. But what does this mean for the future of risk management? It means a more resilient banking sector, equipped to handle challenges with greater precision and efficiency. As we move forward, staying attuned to these advancements will be crucial for navigating the complexities of adverse selection. Looking to the horizon, we see a future where technology continues to empower banks, making risk management more robust and dynamic than ever before. Combining traditional strategies with new age technologies will be key to thriving in this evolving landscape. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the intricacies of adverse selection in banking. In our final segment, we'll recap the key takeaways and the importance of understanding this critical concept. As we come to the conclusion of our exploration into adverse selection in banking, let's recap the key points we've covered. We began by defining adverse selection and understanding its root cause, information asymmetry. We then delved into how adverse selection manifests in the banking sector, often resulting in banks attracting riskier borrowers and increasing credit risk. Through real-world cases, we examined its significant impact, highlighting the potential financial losses it can cause. We discussed various mitigation strategies, from better screening and monitoring to advanced techniques like credit scoring models and data analytics. Finally, we looked at how technological advancements are shaping the future of risk management in banking. To summarize, understanding adverse selection is crucial for managing credit risk effectively. Grasping its dynamics enables banks to develop strategies that mitigate its adverse effects, fostering a more stable financial environment. 
Stay tuned for our final segment, where we'll provide a call to action to encourage further engagement. Thank you for staying with us on this insightful journey. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the intricate world of adverse selection in banking. We hope this video has shed light on the complexities banks face and the strategies they can employ to mitigate such risks. If you found this content educational and engaging, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you won't miss any of our future videos that delve into topics essential for economic students, banking professionals, and finance enthusiasts. Also, be sure to follow us on our social media platforms for more insights and updates. Your learning journey doesn't end here. Stay connected and continue to expand your knowledge. Once again, thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more valuable content.